My name is Gordon, and three weeks ago something happened that uh, I still can't figure out. Um, it might have been a massive solar flare <clears throat> combined with some, I don't know, virus pandemic. Uh, but I found this camera, so I'm going to use it to document some stuff. I don't know why, but I, I think it might be a good idea. This fallen cottonwood has a lot of material. I have to make sure that there's nothing in that thing that's gonna jump out at me. That looks like it could be a den, so I don't think anything's in there. I wanna be sure though. Well, I found uh, this old cottonwood tree here, and it's probably going to give me my best source for making a bow drill. Uh, there's a lot of material here. I can tell it's a cottonwood by the, uh, by the bark. Uh, underneath the bark, there's that piece I found. Underneath the bark is a layer of material that you can use to create a bird's nest where you put the ember in there and then uh, voila this is uh, really damp from last night's dew so I'll have to dry it out before I can do that but uh, that's my option. Since I lost my ferro rod, I know I should have put a second one in my kit as a backup, but I may have lost it in the truck 35 miles back that way. So <clears throat> that's not an option to go back for. I still have still have my lighter, but all the uh, lighter fluids are gone from it. It won't light a flame anymore. I used all my matches for my two MREs that I had in my bug out bag. So I did make char cloth the first day and I got a lot of it left. If I can get a spark onto some char cloth, dry this out. create a flame. Then I can boil water. I still have my Sawyer Mini, but it's not going to last forever. I need to create more char, char cloth and uh, purify some water. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have to be careful here, there's a lot of poison oak. Should make a nice bow. I 
found a skateboard wheel. So I used that on the top of my spindle. I get maximum friction at the bottom and almost zero at the top. So I only need to make a little bit of a bow drill kit. I don't even need the top part with this. So getting there. turn my damage but I think I can use this side I just need to start carving a hole in there towards the edge and then do the burn in phase so I can get get that started yeah it's kind of where it is Perfect. I got my burn in. It kind of glazes bottom of your spindle where it's the widest and I got some good dust so with that notch there I should be able to get an ember uh, keep your fingers crossed Gordon we're not out of the woods yet well I got my bow spindle and the burn in on my hearth board so oh and the lifesaver of a ball bearing I can probably get one two three four five six probably eight uses out of this side of the hearth board the other side's just I can give it a shot but there's a lot of termite damage to it but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. My primary concern out here <clears throat> all along has been water. Not the lack of it, but clean water to drink. Um, you remember the rule of threes where you got three minutes of air, three hours and hypothermic conditions without shelter you can survive three days without water and three weeks without food I've been okay with food water I need about a gallon just on the days where I'm not exerting myself a gallon a day is a lot to process um, but I can boil water once I can start a fire and I can cook so yeah, that's going to be my primary concern right now is getting getting fire going and then building my shelter. I'm probably going to stay near this water source for a while. Well, I think my batteries are running low, so better shut this down. <laughs> 